for classic matches done in the same style as this one, go over to patreon.com forward slash drunk redhead. On my last World Cup roundup, we were looking at the start of match day nine in European qualification, including that last gasp goal from Harry Kane, which helped see England into the 2018 World Cup. And we're going to stay in Europe today for the next part of match day nine, starting in Group G at the Stadio Olimpico Grande Torino, where Italy were hosting the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, and Italy opened the scoring on 40 minutes through Giorgio Chiellini. However, this was not to be a routine Italian win as Trajkovski scored an equaliser on 77 minutes to give Macedonia a surprise point. The final score, 1-1. And with Italy dropping points, Spain could cement their place in the 2018 World Cup with a win over Albania at the Estadio Jose Rico Pérez in Alicante and they started pretty well with Rodrigo giving them the lead on 16 minutes. And it wasn't long before they were 2 0 up with Isco grabbing Spain second on 24 minutes. Spain got the job done early, and on 27 minutes, they got their third and final goal through Thiago. Meaning Italy will have to make do with the playoffs as they sit in second place on 20 points, Spain top on 25, and Spain qualify for Russia 2018. Finally, the other two teams in Group G, Liechtenstein and Israel, faced off at the Rheinpark Stadion in Vaduz. Aitan Tibi scored the only goal of the game on 22 minutes to give Israel a 1-0 win. The best action in Group D was found at the Ernst Happel Stadion in Vienna with Austria hosting Serbia. The deadlock was broken on 11 minutes when Milivojevic scored Serbia's opening goal. However, that was cancelled out later in the first half with Bergstaller getting Austria's equaliser on 25 minutes. In the second half, it was the home side's turn to take the lead and on 76 minutes, Marko Arnautovic put them 2-1 in front. However, it was Serbia's turn to get their equaliser and Nemanja Matic got that on 83 minutes. In the end, it was the home fans in Vienna that were celebrating as Louis Schaub scored on 89 minutes to give them a 3-2 win. Also in Group D, the Republic of Ireland were playing Moldova at the Aviva Stadium in Dublin. This match was settled by a double from Daryl Murphy. First, the Irish striker scored on two minutes to open the scoring. He then confirmed the victory with a headed goal on 19 minutes. The final score, the Republic of Ireland 2, Moldova 0. The other match in Group D saw Wales travel to the Boris Paichad's Dynamo Arena in Tbilisi to take on Georgia. Wales won this one thanks to a 49th minute screamer from Tom Lawrence. In the standings, it's all very close going into the last game with Serbia top on 18, Wales in second with 17 and Ireland in third with 16. As usual, Kosovo were playing in Albania at the Laura Barici Stadium in Škoda. It was a tale of two goals as they lost to Ukraine 2-0. First a 60th minute own goal from Pakarada and then Andrei Yarmolenko's volley on 88 minutes. Croatia took on Finland at the Stadion Ruzevica in Rijeka. Mario Mandzukic got the final touch on 57 minutes to give the home side a 1-0 advantage. However, in the 90th minute, Soeri got an equaliser for Finland, giving us a final score of one apiece. We finished Group I and the video off with Turkey versus Iceland at the new Eskisehir Stadium in Eskisehir. And on 32 minutes, Iceland took the lead thanks to a goal from Gudmundsson. Iceland then showed their dominance, taking a 2-0 lead on 39 minutes, Birkir Bjarnason scoring this one. They sealed an impressive 3-0 away win in the second half with Kari Arneson scoring on 50 minutes. In the standings, they lead the group going into the last match with 19 points. Croatia and Ukraine just behind on 17 each. And that's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed. Like and subscribe.